was this social justice stuff and this inequality stuff, these terms, these ambiguities, did that have an impact on you first being a Marxist and then realizing, wait a minute, this is all BS? Yes, it did. And I, I think there's a very simple explanation uh, that, that as of the time I became a Marxist, I didn't know as much as I knew after several years of study and, and observing things going on. And as, as facts carried a lot of weight with me, uh, and when the facts kept going the wrong way, I realized that this, this was not uh, going to do what uh, it claimed it was going to do. One of the big problems about the social justice uh, feel is that it, what they say sounds so good. Uh, it's only after you study history that you find out just how bad, how horribly it actually turned out. Well, these phrases are very uh, nebulous. Social justice. What does that mean? Basically, uh, if you agree with the Marxists and the leftists, uh, then you support social justice. But on the other hand, if you support individuality and capitalism and private property rights, obviously you're anti-social justice. What does all this mean? Well, that's how, that's how, that's how they look at it. Uh, they seem to assume a world in which if things don't, don't, don't turn out the same for everybody, that means that somebody has done somebody wrong. And that's an incredible uh, assumption that human beings have such enormous uh, control over, over their own fates individually or collectively. I mean, when I think back over my life, and I'm sure other people can do the same in their lives, there are times that a particular person appeared on the scene and changed the, the, the whole trajectory of my life. And it's happened more than once, and I'm sure it's happened in the lives of many other people. Uh, there's nobody, nobody out there who has all the incredible amount of knowledge required to take over making other people's decisions for them.